Hi guys, today I want to show you how performant is Ryzen 9 um, 7900X3D. You can see it here. So right now it's running at 3.4 GHz, sometimes at 5.2, depending on the on the load. And I wanted to show you how Ryzen 9 uh, without any GPU right now. So the only GPU is internal GPU, iGPU which is Raphael um, on AMD so that's Radeon it does support OpenCL, Direct Compute, ML, GL, Ray Tracing and Vulkan which is pretty cool uh, Ryzen itself has uh, 12 cores and 24 threads I can show you 24 threads as well uh, here and the GPU has assigned uh, half gigabyte memory as a dedicated memory and 16 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes as shared memory. So this whole memory, this 16 gigabytes is for GPU together with CPU. Altogether there is 32 gigabytes, so we have plenty of memory to play with. We can see that right now the temperature of the um, CPU is 44 degrees and uh, there was a moment when it was 80 because I was playing around a bit early on. So I'm using this tool. This is Op Studio. Uh, it's free and yeah, it allows you to compose your image in some way. So I can, you see, I can put my uh, camera recording here, my screen capture here. I can add other sources. Let's see what I can do in Blender. What will do Blender for me? I'm going to open the classroom. So this is 1080p, okay. Uh, how fast is the wireframe display here? So camera is no, not locked. So I can actually show you the views, the, the top view, um, uh, the, the right view, right? Uh, and the, uh, this one is back, uh, this one is right, this one is top. Right, this one's going to be uh, front, the minus y is front, the minus x is left. It's kind of weird. I really hate this Blender way of doing it. But anyway, let's not focus too much on this. Let's see how, how fast this is. Like this is a wireframe, right? And uh, so we can see if CPU is used maybe for this. So this is how CPU is. You can see that it is GPU that being used, right? And it's actually at 100% when I do that. I have no idea what the frame rate is, but it's, it's very smooth. Very smooth. It's really, really smooth. And I'm using one gigabyte of shared memory. And GPU is very cold, 46 degrees. Yay! Okay, uh, let's stick to this view. Let's put GPU on the on, it's, it's always on top so we can keep seeing it uh, while I'm doing things. I'm gonna put this view now and there is other options so wireframe is uh, maybe interesting uh, and it's cool but let's see what will happen if I let's, let's move back to camera let's see what I can do with camera anyway this, this is what we're looking at we can change the shading to be shaded, right? So now we can see it's shaded, and we can move camera back and forth. Yeah, we're going outside of the building, so it's maybe. Uh, but you can see it's pretty smooth. I'm just trying to show you that it's smooth, but I'm getting out of the building all the time, as you can see. It's very smooth, right? You can see that 3D is working. And now I'm going to show you the cool part. This is the thing here. And it does work well. And I can hear the fan is going. So let's see if maybe CPU is active. Are we rendering on CPU? Because I know Cycles will not use this GPU. This is Radeon and Cycles, at least from configuration what I've seen there, doesn't want to use uh, GPU. But this isn't Cycles. This is just shaders, right? I haven't really used Blender much in my life, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing around with it. Okay, so that, that uses GPU, clearly. 
And now I can switch to cycles render. And that's gonna be CPU only. So let's observe maybe maybe this panel like this. You can see hundred percent actually. Let's, let's see the uh, let's see the CPU now. It's hundred percent all twenty-four cores. Twenty-four cores now going crazy, you know. They just decided to render it. And they just go crazy. Just look at this. This is Radeon Ryzen 9. Uh, well, it's not really real time. I'm pretty sure the RTX 4080 would do that much faster, better, and so on. I think my camera is outside of the. Uh, but it gives you a good, uh, you know, understanding what will be rendered. It actually doesn't render it outside of the, the view of, of this of this thing. So let, let's play around with depth of field a bit, okay. or maybe even 25. Oh, okay. oh that's gonna be pretty blurry here. Very nice. Okay, let's see how this will render in our thing and we see the CPU goes crazy now but look how fast this is like it's just rendering like just like that like it's it's almost rendered okay I'm gonna tilt it a bit like a bit scary like thing okay. so see how how easy it is to work with uh, blender on Ryzen 9 without any GPU with uh, iGPU right it just works let me just render this, right? Let me just put more stuff into the scene because I see that only whiteboard, well, blackboard is in the scene. Uh, let me move camera a little bit further from this uh, from this thing. So we can see that CPU goes full. Now we put GPU on full throttle. Um, yeah, let's just see what we got. A little bit lower, see where the camera is looking. Oh, that's a nice view. Let's see the, oh, that's going to be nice depth of field. Now I'm going to click render, render image. Let's see how that goes. That oh, looks cool. I remember in some old times in some software, I would be right waiting like um, an hour or two to render a frame in 640 by 480. So this is full HD and it's already almost there. Remaining time three minutes according to what this says here. So let's see. Um, if curious. Uh, let's see what this is doing. And it says actually it is using something on AMD. But what is it using? Memory. It's using memory. So GPU. What is it using here? Activity. Which activity? I don't see an activity here. Uh, there is activity which is without activity. You can hear the fans are going, so this is nice. And you can see the, the grease on my CPU are quite high. You have now uh, 80 degrees and the power consumption is 100 watts. We can see that uh, the image has finished. Uh, rendering. We went down to 46 degrees. The CPU is cool very quickly. The frequency went down and yeah, we're good. So, let's go to the second part of this, uh, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna edit now in DaVinci what I have recorded together with you. And you can see that uh, I can scroll the timeline, no problem. Let's see if I want to maybe cut uh, somewhere. Uh, where is the split here? What happened to split? I have to use keyboard shortcut to split. Okay, let's delete this. So experience is very much similar with the timeline as a Mac, but I was unable to uh, screen capture because the performance of DaVinci would go down and it would be impossible to work with that. So now it's smooth, you know. Let's see how is the memory usage on this. 
So we're using one and a half gigabyte of shared GPU memory on top of half gigabyte on dedicated GPU memory of iGPU AMD Radeon inside a Ryzen 9 chip. Um, let's see how Ryzen uh, iGPU will cope with us. Let, let's add here a transition. Why don't I add here some transition? Uh, some fancy transition, maybe uh, this blue reserve. This is a funny one. I'll make it bigger. So you can see I can actually add it pretty smoothly. Uh, you don't need anything special to, to work with that, but oh, it was it was working well. So I must say the application of the effect. Let me just show the performance because it's going to be interesting to actually see how the uh, how the whole uh, situation here is working uh, while I'm editing. You can see the GPU went up to top when it, this effect happened. And this is just like you play when, when, when the video is streaming, the GPU usage is like relatively low, 30%. And then the effect takes 100% of this GPU and then it's again 30%. So, you know, you don't have a video full of like, I don't know, maybe you have video full of effects. Uh, we could uh, we could try to play around with colors, but maybe later. Uh, let's let's just yeah. I don't know if I want to keep this effect, but uh, I'm just showing you how how slow or fast this is. Usually the titles get very slow, you know. So let's get some slow title here. The uh, I know that on my MacBook uh, they usually work nicely, but uh, like let, let's try this one. This one is like a basic one. Oh. Look at this, smooth. So it works very smooth, like a butter. Okay, let's put the title here, and let's edit it and say something in it. Let's see if I can work on this because some videos I would like to edit on this PC, and you know my my Mac is maybe better for it at the moment, but uh, maybe sometimes I'd like to edit videos on my PC. Uh, some magic text. Okay, that worked, and let's see if I have this just single one. Oh, that's interesting because on Mac it shows you the crayons, and here you have the window speaker. Hmm. I prefer crayons actually. I don't know. I have a color picker here if I want. I can make it also magic. Oh, this color. Why not? Something like this. So it renders nicely, very smoothly. It's a very smooth render. It does stutter at times, like it, it, it blocks and so on. Like on Mac, it's very smooth. The streams they play straight away, you know, you can drag streams and so on, and there is no delays or anything like that. But the rendering of those texts and other things like this, they don't go so smooth actually. They would render, it would be nice, but uh, there will be some render and like a stutter a little bit. So this is, this is actually better, if you ask me. Although, could be that this is HD video, you know, this is like 1080p video. And on Mac I'm editing the, uh, you know, Mac resolution video, so that's going to be 2K, 1440p, you know. It's a retina display. Okay, so what else can I do here? I could, I could do some color mapping, right? Let's see what that will do to this. I can feel it's gonna be destruction. I don't see curves here. Oh, here they are. Whoa, it feels like uh, this is gonna kill it. I can already see that it is. Oh no, okay, the curves are just here. Uh, what's going on? Are we applying those curves somewhere? I think it's not working. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, oh, now it's smooth, look, it actually works. So it had some amount of time uh, for preparing this, I don't know, maybe shaders or something. Uh, let's move it to different location in the movie. What would happen if I, if I, I don't know, set keyframes on this corrector, right? 
I'm gonna keyframe it. I'm gonna say on this frame, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna delete those points on this frame. And on the next frame, this is the whole clip, yeah? Okay. Say on this frame here, I wanna change it to some for some whatever reason. Okay, it works. It took uh, it a little bit of time to prepare this view because I should be remember in the beginning this view was very very you know slow and nothing worked actually. But now it seems like it's working. Let's see if it animates. Just. Yeah, it works. It does work. It does work. You can can, uh, you can go ahead and these filters make no sense, of course, because I, I'm not doing it to make it actually, uh, you know, correct. I'll edit it properly later, but I'm just showing you how uh, DaVinci works on this iGPU in Ryzen 9. Okay, May, I might actually put the title here, right, since this is the beginning, so let's put some title in here. Okay. What kind of what kind of thing we're gonna do? This? What do we wanna say? This is a video about Ryzen 9 performance, which is the main title and there's like a super, oh this one. It's just, it's boring because I keep using it all the time. Okay, this one now um, needs some color because we cannot see it. Maybe this needs to be a little bit more. I don't know. Kind of giving it some shade, you know. A bit of the thread. Okay. Maybe if this text wasn't so spaced. Well, oh, not this one. Uh, lower text size. No. Oh. Just, uh, gonna make sure you can read that. Would be good to uh, put something in the back. Maybe I can open that infusion and add some background. How about that? Is this gonna open the infusion? Ah, oh, here we go. I can put some background there. So yeah, so this is the rectangle, which is a mask to this, this background. If I show the background in this view, uh, it's just dark red background. So it's clipped like this with this mask. So it looks cool on there. You know, it looks that way. It's not just whole screen dark, but it's like, like a frame or something like that. And then uh, I merge this uh, on the background channel. In the foreground, I have I have text. This text is from Da Vinci's uh, titles, right? So I merge this text with this background, and I get this result. And here. I have the um, animation, right? You can see I set number of keyframes. So there is a keyframe for background uh, width and height. So that's for this rectangle, right? And then for background alpha is another keyframe here. I'm not sure why is it so far away. Maybe it should be here. It sounds like it. Yeah, makes more sense now. Should be aligned. Is there a way to align it? Not sure if we need these keyframes. They sound like it just should be linear. Yeah. Maybe because you see this is what's happening. Yeah, I just want to. Even earlier, 
so like an uh, explosion shape meaning that first it goes fast and then it slows down see so I want it to be like a the text shouldn't be outside of this I think it's fine I changed the title to be Blender and DaVinci Resolve Ryzen 9 rather than iGPU so it's actually working fast right this, this fusion here like it works very very fast very nice so see how smooth it is it really is smooth it really is smooth come on we're testing igpu on on ryzen we can't have very high expectations right So we've seen that uh, we did a we did a blender thing here, and in blender it was quite okay. Oh, see it's it's, it's stuttering. Oh, now it's okay. It's playing the video. It's very small. So so wireframe rendering is fast. It's very fast. Okay, the this uh, shaded models. Uh, Let's show the models here. This works pretty fast too. The shader. And now it's uh, on c this is on CPU, so it's pretty fast on Ryzen. And we got the fusion working. So right, so this is our. Uh, you know, Ryzen 9 7900. I'm just gonna leave it here. This is pretty cool now. I added this back and Okay, thank you for watching, and uh, you know, I hope it was informative for you. Thank you.